please notice our new card design that does not have any raised numbers, holographic images, magnetic strips, dyes, or polymers. These features allow for extended disuse and possible non-existence of your card. Welcome to Night Vale. Folks, another fine evening in Night Vale, isn't it? We're lucky to live in a place with such beautiful evenings. Really, why would you ever live anywhere else? I can't think of a single reason, and I am very good at thinking of things. You have no idea how good. I would tell you, but you wouldn't understand. Comprehension of such things is, unfortunately, beyond you. Interestingly, you remember that door out in the scrublands? The one that John Peters, you know, the farmer, found a long time ago and locked up very tightly because there were horrifying things on the other side? The one that, before he disappeared, John Peters swore he had to lock up to prevent the unraveling of all things from getting into Nightvale? Do you remember that door? The locked door that is keeping the nightmares out? Well, it's open now. Just an interesting fact. It probably has no bearing on your lives. Pretend it's still closed. You'll be happier that way. Reports are coming in that no one can find the woman from the sand wastes. It seems likely that, things having fallen out the way they did, she simply left town. Let's be honest, there was nothing for her here. Not since... Well... You know... At any rate, she's gone. We'll probably never see her again. That's nice. She was awful. I bet she was the kind of person who broke things for fun. I bet she hated kittens. She was probably a kitten hater. I bet she kicked poor helpless kittens for a living. We don't want anyone like that in our neat little town, now do we? No, we don't. Just in case you thought that was actually a question. It wasn't. And now, financial reports. 353, 139, 202, 84, 451, 38, 61, 476, 20, 221, 231, 241, 167, 467, 42, 102, 2, 1, 0. This has been Financial Reports. Are you scared and alone? Lacking purpose in your life? I don't even know why I'm asking. Of course you are. That's what happens when you choose to be human. That's what happens when you choose to be an organic creature. I can't help you with the scared and alone part. No one can. You will always be scared and alone. Just don't let it show. Fear is an ugly expression on you. So is loneliness. You are ugly when you cry. So don't. But I can help you with purpose. Purpose is something that we have for you in large amounts, especially since StrexCorp announced its official partnership with Aperture Laboratories. If you are lacking purpose in life, and of course you are, consider signing up to be an Aperture Laboratories test subject. Any test subject who completes the testing course will be provided with $60 and an amount of work credits equal to 60 minus the amount of hours required to complete the testing track. There will also be potato salad, potato bread, potato cakes, mashed potatoes, potatoes au gratin, baked potatoes, and french fries, available free for you at the completion of the testing. Aperture Science Forwarding the cause of science by over 50 years. For over 50 years. Help us help you help us all.
while you take a few hours to digest that information with your small and fragile minds. Let's take a look at traffic. There should be no traffic. StrexCorp has banned motor vehicles. If you are driving, you are violating StrexCorp law. All citizens are required to ride the Nightvale subway for all their transportation needs. Are you driving a car right now? Don't lie to me. You're driving a car, aren't you? You're in big trouble now, mister. Turn that car around right now and come on back. They'll catch you anyway. Things will go much better for you if you turn yourself in and do not run. No, don't step on the gas. Do you really think you can outrun the yellow helicopters? You can see them in your rearview mirror, can't you? You know they're getting closer. But go ahead, keep driving. Maybe they'll give up. Maybe they'll decide you're not worth it. Maybe you'll be the one that got away. But I doubt it. So you may as well come on back now. Oh, that's a pity. Expect delays on Route 800 northbound due to the smoking crater in the left lane. Pay no attention to any resemblance the debris may have to a car. Also, what are you doing on Route 800? Haven't you been listening? Turn around and go home right now. You saw what happened to the last person who tried running. I know you did because you can see that smoking crater in the left lane. That's better. Do you see how simple things can be when you just do as you're told? This has been Traffic. You remember when I was talking about that door earlier? The one that definitely wasn't letting nightmare creatures of stinking black ooze and slime-slathered tentacles and maddening geometries come crashing into our world with terrible and ancient vengeance? The one that was certainly closed to the unraveling of all things except that it was open? I went out and closed it. While traffic was on, I took the opportunity to go out and close the door again. I didn't want you to worry, so I didn't tell you I was going. It was very easy. I welded it shut. You're all safe. I saved you. I rescued you. StrexCorp rescued you. There is nothing left to be afraid of. The door can never open again. It's like it doesn't even exist. Nothing came through it. You imagined all of that. The creatures you thought you saw. The Cyclopean cities, standing tall and impossible and empty against a gaping void of sky. The screams of agony and madness that were too human to be inhuman but too horrible to believe that a human body could produce them. The streets of your city running red with blood. You sloshing through alleyways ankle-deep in the viscera of your fellow townspeople in a vain attempt to escape the creeping horror that had come through the door. All of that was only in your imagination. It was just a bad dream. All that worry was for nothing. See how silly you were to worry? Everything is fine. You're all safe now. Go back to sleep. Everything is fine. So now, let's hear a word from our sponsors. I don't even really have to say anything. You know who keeps the roof over your head, pays your medical bills, puts the gluten-free bread on your plate. You know who watches over your children as they play. You know who keeps the subway running, who owns your businesses and your parks and your police. You know who the mayor works for. You know who stands outside your window every night. Why are you even resisting? We're only trying to help you. There is no point in fighting us. We are everything. We are everywhere. We are watching the roads and the paths and, yes, even the tunnels. Oh, you thought we didn't know about the tunnels? That was short-sighted of you. Just give up. Life will be easy when you give up. You will not worry anymore. You will be happy. You will always be happy. You will wonder why you ever chose to be unhappy. Long story short, StrexCorp mood regulation implants are now available. You'll know when you get one. StrexCorp. You'll know. Well, folks, this has been a great day of news. Our community is thriving and business is booming. I've said almost all there is to say, done almost all there is to do. There's just one little thing we have to take care of, so let me take you to the web. Where is he? 
Oh. Hello, Carlos. I didn't expect to see you again in this dimension. That's a lovely gun. Very sleek. Where did you get it? I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that before. I am going to ask you this once, and you are going to answer me, or I swear to God I will blow your brains out all over this studio. Where is Cecil? Of course. I'm always happy to be of help, Carlos. My job is to provide information. I'll quite happily tell you anything you want to know. Just out of curiosity, how did you get back? I assume that the woman from the sand wastes opened the door for you, since Cecil is unavailable. Where is she, by the way? Answer the question! There's no need to yell, Carlos. He's at City Hall, undergoing Strex Corp re-education. He's been there for about a week now. It's a very thorough process. I've heard it's even occasionally survivable. You can hurry, if you like, but you still won't make it in time. Oh, no. Sorry about that, folks. Just a minor interruption. Probably best if you forget all about it. So now, without further delay, I give you the weather. I I, I could paint a picture with a pen But a song will only scratch the skin And there are still faces I haven't been Because I know what's in there It's already in the air Oh yeah, there's a storm away Another day has come to an end here in Night Vale, and all is well. All is just fine. Look around and see how fine it is. Look inside and see how fine it is. Look- Oh. Hello again, Carlos. That didn't take long at all. How is C- Don't you dare say his name. Don't you dare. Dare. Hey. Oh, God. Is, 
Is this thing working? This... This is Carlos. Carlos the scientist. I... Cecil is... Oh god. I can't do this. I can't. No. I have to. I have to. Pull it together, Carlos. For Cecil. Night Vale, if you've never listened to me before in your lives, and many of you haven't, listen to me now. This is the truth that Strex Corp is hiding from you. This is the truth that killed old woman Josie and John Peters and intern Raphael. This is the truth that Cecil Paul... That Cecil... Oh, God. I wish they'd just killed him. I can't think about that. I have to tell you. I have to tell you for Cecil's sake. Old woman Josie's angels tried to warn us. Tried to protect us. Tamika Flynn found the true histories. Dana the intern saw... She saw... Strix Corp. They sell... People. They come into town, they tame the population, regulate their mood, mold them into the right shapes and the right dimensions. And they sell them. And then when the people are all bought up, they destroy the town. The people left who didn't fit quite right into the space they had marked out for them. The people who fought back. It happened to Nulgorsk in 1983. It's been happening in Desert Bluffs, and now it's happening to us. The woman from Aperture. Michelle. After she opened the door for me, she left town. I don't know if that's because she knows something about what's coming that we don't, or if she just doesn't want to be here for whatever happens next. Either way, she's gone. Maybe she just has a stronger sense of self-preservation than the rest of us. Statistically, it seems likely that we're all going to die. Or worse. Sometime in the next few years, so she was probably right to get out of here while she could. But I don't... Care. I am a scientist who is meant to be self-sufficient, who is meant to be analytical and factual and forward-thinking, and I don't care. I don't care about what Strex Corp is planning to do to this town. I don't care about what they're doing right now. What I care about is what they've done. What they've done to my Cecil. For that reason alone, I urge you, Night Vale, to take up arms against Strex Corp and... <laughs> no. You know what? It doesn't matter. Do what you want. Huddle under your beds and cry if it makes you feel any better. It doesn't matter what you do. Because I will not rest until every last one of those bastards is dead. Wake up, Night Vale. Wake up. Welcome to Night Vale is a production of Commonplace Books. It is written by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner and produced by Joseph Fink. The voice of Night Vale is Cecil Baldwin. Original music by Disparition and Aperture Science Psychoacoustic Laboratories. Most of it can be found online at disparition.info or disparition.bandcamp.com. Today's weather was Storm Coming by Narls Barkley. 
More information can be found at gnarlsbarkley.com. Portal and all related characters, devices, and scenarios belong to Valve. Today's prophet. It is better to ask forgiveness than to be a spider. Almost anything is better than being a spider.